Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. So in a recent video, I showed you how I routed the binding channel for this Super Strat Fernandez replica. And I got a bunch of people who said, oh man, I really wanted to see you bind it. So I thought, well, you know, I've already done the binding video at least two or three times already, but a Bob Ross guy painted the same damn painting every week for 22 years. So why not go ahead and show you all how to do it again? So this video will not be a complete recap or a repeat of previous videos. There's the shop dog. But uh, what we are gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the new things that we started doing um, to make this, uh, this orange tape work a little bit better for us and it probably will work better with other tapes as well. Um, but uh, the first thing that we're going to actually do is we are going to fit all of the binding and tape it in place so that it looks good before we actually start to glue it down. So um, as I do that, I'm going to be talking and I'm going to be you know, showing you how we do it and uh, kind of explaining a little bit about why I'm doing it this way. Let's get started. So to do this, we are going to use our uh, plastic binding that we get from Stumac. We're going to be using some tape that we get from Stumac. Now this is the half inch stuff. Um, I just misordered it. I normally use the three quarter and I like it better, but the half inch stuff works fine too. And we're going to be using a heat gun. Um, so the, the trick here is to, the very before you go really any further than you have to, you need to make sure that you're going to have enough material to go all the way around, you know what I'm saying? So you can kind of bend this stuff in here and yeah, that actually looks pretty good. In fact, I might cheat it a little bit this way. So, um, uh, so the first piece of tape that I'm going to put on here is going to be right at the end. And uh, having one of these tape dispensers is a real lifesaver. If you don't have one, you should go buy one. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to push the, push the binding direct to the guitar and I'm going to push it in this direction and down this direction to make sure that I don't have any weird gaps in my, um, in my binding edge because I want it to look cool. And you're going to want yours to look cool too. So I like to press the tape. You know what I mean? Get the binding in there, press the tape down, and tug it tight until it breaks. Um, and then tug it tight against the body. That was probably a little too tight. <laughs> All right, so make sure the binding edge is down, press it on good, bring it in tight to the body. And it looks pretty damn good. All right, on this particular body, this is about as far as I can get before I need to start um, actually manipulating the binding with heat. You see here, there's a, there's a gap, and we could probably tug that in with just tape, but I'm gonna go ahead and heat it and just get it to relax a little bit through there so that it's um, I'm not having to force it to, uh, uh, to, to adhere, you know what I mean? Um, now, the, the acetone will do that a little bit, but I'm gonna give it a leg up. Um, there's a couple areas here, you can see some gaps, and those, hold on, those will actually press in once we start gluing everything down. All right, I got my trusty heat gun, and like I said, I'm just gonna heat this binding up here in this area just to relax it enough to where I press it in and it'll stay. All right, I've moved along to where I need to start heating again. And as you can see, I've got gravity helping me do a lot of the work here. So now I'm gonna start on this, uh, this horn and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave the, the guitar isolated in uh, its upright position like this. I'm gonna heat this up here until I start bending it around. All 
Okay, so I've made it almost halfway to, uh, to the horn here, and now I'm going to uh, start working on this, um, the, the forearm contour area, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to relax the binding around um, the, this little break here, and then let it come up, and then relax it back to break over this way. And um, the reason I'm not finishing this right now is because I want to get uh, both pieces of binding to approximately the same place, and then I'm going to upend the body, and then, like I said before, let gravity aid me in coming around these, uh, these horns here. So as you can see, we've got a gap here, and we're going to need to relax the binding right about here and kind of mash it into place. And then we'll just go ahead and continue to tape all the way around. And when we get to where we are coming back up again, we'll do the exact same thing. Because the very first bend that I'm going to do is going down, I'm going to let gravity help me with the work. Just like you knew I was going to say. Alright, I have replaced the guitar into the, uh, the vise here, and now we are going to heat up these corners here on both the horns, and just sort of let the binding fall into this, into this channel here. So, the important thing to remember when you're fitting your binding is you don't want to heat this up and then have to force it, you just want to have it relax right through there. That's the hot setup. All right, I forgot to push the record button on the camera, but uh, fortunately I still have this guy to do, and this guy is mostly done. Um, so I'm just gonna let the camera run. This is one of the hard bits about, you know, you guys want all these videos of me doing all this pretty intricate stuff, and uh, I don't have a cameraman. So um, what we're gonna do now is, is I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work this binding in the same way as I did on the other horn there, and um, kind of get everything about to where this this piece of binding here is, and then we're going to fine tune everything after that. Um, so, again, we will just um, let the binding relax and let gravity do most of the work through here, and uh, it's going to be cool. Okay, you don't want to heat this up so much that it, you know, starts to change its its uh, dimensions. You just want to get it to relax into the. Um, the shape that you want it to get into. Alright, so we are really, really close on these horns here. Um, the, uh, the next step to do is to kind of fine tune everything and get everything to fit nice and snug and no gaps. Um, it's around this time I like to trim off a bunch of this extra shit here um, because what's going to happen is, well for one thing it's going to get in the way, for another thing you're not going to use it and it's actually going to be weight that's going to kind of manipulate the, uh, the, um, the binding that we are going to use and that's going to prevent it from, um, from being easy and uh, uh, sticking down like we want it to stick. So, um, again, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my vise, and I'm going to get some nippers, and I'm going to nip that. You want to give yourself some play, you know what I mean, like about half to three quarters of an inch is fine, because it's already mostly bent, but get rid of the, uh, of the, uh, that, a lot of that extra crap that we don't need. Okay. Now the hot setup is to get a tool or something that you can press into the, uh, well, into or onto the, uh, the edge of the guitar because if you saw me doing this, you probably noticed I went, yeah, because it gets really, really hot. Um, so we've got a, a little gap right here 
on the bottom and we've got some other gaps on the um, the uh, the top of this and so what we're going to do now is we're just going to fine tune the um, uh, the the binding and it's going to look super super sharp So that is actually looking pretty good. Now, remember, we don't actually have this adhered to the guitar body yet. It's just fit, and uh, we, can, we can look at it, we can inspect it, and we can take our time and make sure that the binding on this looks right. That's kind of the secret to binding, is taking your time and not rushing the job. Um, I think I'm going to make this a two-part video because it's already really long. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to... Um, uh, actually glue this stuff down and uh, some of the advantages to doing it the way that we're doing it. Plus, I want to have this tape set up for about an hour or two before I go uh, gluing it down. And we'll talk about that next time. So, if you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go check out our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. We are an entirely viewer-funded channel, so uh, it is all of our Patreon members that make this kind of stuff possible, uh, and we thank you for that. If you can't do Patreon, I totally understand. Uh, what you could do above and beyond that, of course, is share this video as many places as you think you can do. So, uh, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I wanna play like a guitar, the only